for the meantime while we're waiting for the cookies i'm gonna make some hot chocolate i received the blaya from askinosi about a month ago i've been trying it out i found the recipe that really suits my preference and taste when it comes to hot chocolate the blaya is 100 percent cacao so it's up to you how much cream and sugar you want to add so it's all about preference and so far i'm loving the hot chocolate that i have <laughs> That's delicious. The tablea that we have in the Philippines is thicker compared to this one. In comparison, ju just just to compare, you know. The tablea that they have is very shiny, it's very glossy. And then it has a snap to it when you break it. I already broke it earlier, so I'm like, no, I'm not gonna break another one. So the the weight of the tablea we have at home is like 12 grams. So, so then I add more chocolate to the liquid with with my drink it's just the slight difference to what it's like at home i now declare you as my um, queen corgi of this house it's not every day that i wake up so calmly with these dogs enjoying the morning is really nice look at them just playing hey She just came from the morning walk. Hey, I'm not gonna put you in the cage. I will be running just for 30 minutes. Make sure, hey, listen, that you don't break anything. Shiba, I'm talking to you. Okay, okay. Nope, there she is. So that run is done. Some people are asking me why I run barefoot. And the answer to that is because I love the feeling of being aware with my surroundings, with the path that I take. It adds a challenge to the short distance run that I do. It took some time actually. Also, it improves my form. I've started with sandals, but I realized that running barefoot is is really nice really nice like my love for running barefoot is greater than the fear of the worms that could possibly be in the pavement so yeah she's gonna have a quick breakfast there's yogurt with a little bit of chocolate and uh, i have leftover aloha protein bar. i know i have chocolate in the morning well dog i have to go to the haircut now <laughs> I know she's such a child. Shiba. <laughs> hey. So this is my stylist, Lee. She's always helping me with my hair. <laughs> So we're making many stops first because I want to go to many places and uh, um, buy the things that I needed for Shiba's peanut butter cookies by 99 Ranch. Yeah. This should be good. This should be better. Um, honey. Oops. This should be okay. Uh, 
I look like a teacher in this. Ah, uh, anyways. I ran errands this morning. I had a haircut. I had a feeling that it was... I went too early. I usually go every month. But then I went after 20 days. I realized only when I was there. So, other than that, I bought some stuff for the peanut butter cookies. Uh, we're gonna make some for Shiva. My mom also likes peanut butter, so I'll share some with her too. Uh, yep, and then I have other ingredients here at home. So now we can make it. This is also a recipe that I found from cookierookie.com. I'll put the link down at the bio so that if you want to try it for your pet, you could also do it. One and a half of whole wheat flour. One teaspoon baking powder. Don't sift it, that's weird. Put egg and then mix it all together. A cup of peanut butter. I chose the low sodium one. Put it on the bowl. Put a cup of water and two tablespoons of honey. Right. And mix it all together. You just have to slightly flour the table. Set timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, starting now. You want some peanut butter cookies? You make it. She's like, oh, well, um, I just can't smell it right here. It's all complete. Nothing to waste. Right, so we're just waiting for the cookies. So the hot chocolate tasted good. Like I found the right amount of sweetness and creaminess that goes well with my hot chocolate. So then we proceed with why I really love Askinosi. So I first learned about them when I visited a coffee shop down at Frisco. They carried chocolate bars and one of those are Askinosi that had Davao on it. So Davao is a province in the Philippines that is known for good chocolate. They have this award-winning chocolate as well that's internationally known. And that I was like, okay, I have to purchase this. And it, it had like 55 percent like the dark darkness of it and that for me is just right and i tasted it it was so delicious the chocolate bar was beautiful it was shiny it had that snap to it so it just melted in my mouth and i was like oh, it was so good but it's expensive it's like nine dollars which is you know just right when you pay for chocolates now these days since they um, take care of the quality so then i followed them on instagram and they had this story about tableya and i was like they they offered tableya and tableya is like um it's known in the philippines rounds of chocolate 100 percent cacao that you just mix with water and then you make hot chocolate already it's all that easy and then i just decided to go to their website purchase some um tableya and my favorite bar of chocolate so then i messaged them i told them i was so excited because they're introducing something from the philippines to the market here in the united states like it's just brings me home or something i'm just i just want to go home but then um they replied and then they said that they appreciate my support how heartwarming it is that um i sent them that message and then they said that they'll be including a an extra bar of chocolate to my package and they did they gave me the orange dark chocolate i am not really that much of a fan of orange and chocolate but i i really appreciated it and i shared it with my fellow baristas for them to try and they really loved it so yeah that's just, that's just something I, I want to say about Askinosi. They also do direct trade and that is very beneficial for the farmers because they receive the, the payment like there's no middlemen and it's nice how they have these foundations as well they have awards too so um this is a really good brand and i will follow through with their progress yeah that's basically it i really love chocolate 
but Askenosi is one of my favorite brands now and the customer service is really good too. Alexa, stop. So I have one of these cookies already cooling down and I have the other batch of cookies still um, baking. My mom smelled it. She said it smelled good so I hope it tastes good. I mean Shiba wouldn't mind, right? Aha! Uh -huh. Wow. It's a little bit chewy. It's so bland. It lacks some sweetness too. I don't think my mom will enjoy this. I think Shiba would. Let's try it with hot chocolate. <laughs> this is only for dogs. Shiba treat? You want some treat? You've got some treat. Wanna try some? Give me ball. Other ball. You like it? She's like, um, I want some more. Chibi, you want some cookie? Here. She just walks away like that. <laughs> we got so many treats for you. We have to give some to Millie. Was it delicious? You want more treat? Is it treat? Did you say treat? <laughs> We're gonna give some to Millie. Okay, which is like probably six pieces and the rest of the ones on the pan are yours. Huh? Okay? Okay. She's like, um, should we? I have new pairs of glasses too. Love it. I love looking for glasses just because I love the whole experience with Warby. Other than that, I am grateful that you joined me for this video. If you like this video, please do like and subscribe and hit the bell button down below. My child will appreciate it. Right? Um, yeah, Shiba and I are grateful for you. And I know I haven't been diligent with making my videos, so I'm sorry. Have a great day and peace and love, everyone. Peace and love. Bye. Ha <laughs> ha